Family Fit Expo here in Los Angeles. And I am getting to interview some really awesome people here from the industry. But also, just recently, I met this awesome guy, Ryan Carnes. Hi, Ryan. Hi. Good to be here. <laughs> I'm so excited. I get to interview a real celebrity. Well, that's that's generous. Thank you. Yeah. I appreciate it. I'll take it. I mean, we got a lot of celebrities here in this uh, building now within my industry. But it's fun to get to talk to someone. And uh, we were just standing here talking about some really deep conversation. This probably would <laughs> yes, be censored we on uh, social right. media. Probably. <laughs> Everywhere. So we won't even go there. But so exciting to get to talk to you. So, Ryan, uh, before we go any further, though, make sure you subscribe. Probably please like my videos and ring that bell so you get more notifications. But, Ryan, in the meantime, tell me all about what you've been able to do in your career. Oh, man, it's been a, it's been a wild ride, a long journey. Um, some ups and downs, but mostly up. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm thrilled to be here and to get to talk to you about it. I've had a lot of exciting opportunities dating back a number of years to Desperate Housewives. I was on Desperate Housewives for two years, what years two were, seasons. What years were those? I think it was uh, 04, 05, maybe 05, 06. The first two seasons okay. of the show. So in the beginning. In the beginning, when it was the cool. number one show in the U.S. and the number one show in the world. So that opened up a lot of doors for me. And I got to work with Clint Eastwood oh on gosh, Letters from Iwo Jima. He's amazing. Great guy, incredible the, director. The good, the bad, the ugly. Yeah. I love all the old spaghetti westerns. Oh, yeah. He, he's the greatest. And yeah. such a gentle, gentle, humble, kind man. That's awesome. Really wonderful to work with him. And I got to go overseas to the UK and shot two episodes in a lead role of Doctor Who okay. in Wales. They shoot that in Cardiff, Wales. Did you start talking with an accent? <laughs> uh, well, you know, the, the Welsh accent is, is wild. I don't, have you ever been to Wales? No. So the Welsh accent is is most similar to one of the one of the accents like in in the northern part of, of okay, the UK. So I, I I can't did you do pick, a Welsh did you accent. Pick up any of it though? I mean, I While picked up there? I picked up some some British stuff probably, but but not the Welsh. It's okay. it's really it's really unique. And um, after that, I did did some pilots for NBC, some comedy pilots for NBC. Um, did a stint on General Hospital. Oh and uh, I did a uh, I did a film called La Boda de Valentina in Mexico. Ooh. They came out I think about three years ago, and landed me on the cover of Men's Health Mexico. Nice. Well, you look awesome. You Thank look in you. shape. Like you look like you take care of yourself. I do. It's healthy. really important. Yeah. You got some muscles showing. I like it. I like <laughs> it. And I understand that you train over at Eric the Trainer's gym here in L.A. I do the ETT Mecca in Hollywood. Ah, that's so right. exciting. I just got a chance to talk to Eric. He's so funny. So full of energy. Does he train you or do you train there with a trainer or are you on your own? Oh, Eric trains me. Eric trains yeah, you. Yeah, so, some days I'm on my own, but I never get, you know, it's like me working out on my own and then working out with Eric is a, is a completely different ballgame. Completely ball game. different. So. Completely different, yeah. Wow. So what is uh, what is one of the things Eric does that's really challenging for you or has you do, I guess? Uh, gosh. You know, I think I think one of the most challenging parts of, of every workout with Eric is um is is the engorge phase and for those of you not familiar with the engorge phase what i'm sure that? you're familiar with it so after an exercise so after uh lat pull downs or pull-ups for example you flare the lats out and squeeze as hard as you can okay, okay. to draw as much blood to the lats as possible because that's going to promote much that's going to promote growth much more quickly than not doing that okay or after after bench press or chest press I like an is it isometric. Yeah, it's like an isometric contraction, and it drives blood to that muscle group, and it promotes really quick growth. Okay, that's and that's good that's like that's that's one honestly one of the hardest parts of the workout. Okay, because you're already fatigued from the actual the set. Exactly. And then you got to do this gorge. They call exactly. It gorge? Engorge. Yeah. Engorge. And how long do you hold it? Five to ten seconds. Five to ten seconds, which I know is challenging. So I think I used to do something like that with one of my trainers when I was getting ready for the Olympia one year. I, I would, we trained specifically back and legs together, and she would have me do some things like that for my back. So it's very similar, probably to what you're talking about. I, um, she just never called it that. She just said, "Okay, go hold, hold this position and yeah. squeeze." And like, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. That's yeah. it. That's one of the things. Um, I had the opportunity to be at Mr. America with Eric a couple of years ago. And, and man, I had, I'd never been to a competition like that before. And I was blown away at the athleticism, the skillfulness, the craftsmanship, because I mean, among other things, one of the things that, that, that I was just in awe of was that 
the, the, the contestants have to hold those poses for an incredibly long amount of time when they're mm -hmm. on stage, right? Like they come out and it's bad luck if you're the first one on the stage because <laughs> then you got to stand there and hold the positions the entire time. Yes. Yes. I mean, it's, it's I've like, been that competitor too in the past. It, it's like an engorged face from hell. It is. It's you crazy. have to really condition yourself for those shows and you're supposed to look relaxed on stage. Yeah. But you're not. You're right. like flexing every muscle and smiling. Right. <laughs> and then sometimes for us girls, we had to wear high heels. Yeah, that's yeah. kind of crazy, right? Yeah, but yeah, crazy. That's awesome. So, what are you have? Uh, what projects do you have coming up? So, uh, actually, got a couple of big films coming up that I'm going to be filming at the beginning of the year in 2023. Okay. Uh, there are a couple of thrillers. Are we allowed to hear any titles, or is that not allowed? They're yet? Under wraps right now. Under wraps. Okay. Yeah. He's watching for Ryan Carn, so. And um, and then the rest of this year, there's a couple of uh, feature thrillers. Okay. That I'm going to be shooting, uh, hopefully, you know, independent filmmaking timetables are always a little bit flexible, uh, but there's two projects with two different directors that are both friends of mine. I, you know, I've, I love working with friends and fortunately I'm going to get the opportunity to, to work with friends on both of these. Oh, that's awesome. So sometime between now and the end of this year, I'm going to okay. be filming those. And in the meantime, I'm working on developing some projects of my own. Okay. Uh, a couple of thrillers actually. And uh, I'm a producer and uh, co-creator on the upcoming season of Why Women Kill. Why is, Women Kill? Yeah, it's it's Mark Cherry's newest show. Mark oh was my. the creator of Desperate Housewives, which is how I got to originally know uh, him. Okay. And um, so for this season, I helped Mark develop the, the season three storyline of the show, and I'm a producer on the show as well. So wow, that's really so you exciting. Got a lot of stuff coming up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a it's a really fun, exciting year. How long have you been in the entertainment industry? Um, gosh, I think. Uh, I think around 18 years now. 18 years. Yeah. Okay. Been at it for a while. That's awesome. Is this what you wanted to do when you were young? No. I mean, you look young still, but. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. When I was younger. When you were younger. Yeah. Uh, no, I actually, um, the first thing that I ever wanted to do was I wanted to be John Bon Jovi. I wanted to be a rock star. Uh. <laughs> yeah. That's the earliest memory I have of thinking, like seeing something and going, yeah. I want to do that. And it was that. And, um. I'm a musician. I, I learned to play drums. Okay. Instead, so I, I actually that's one of the other things that I have going on. I've got a project with a musician named Vanessa Silberman. She's out in New York in Brooklyn, and uh, she and I work on songs together. Everything right now is under her name, Vanessa Silberman with a B. Okay. But I help her co-produce. I do the drum parts for her, and we're gonna release uh, a full-length record, hopefully by the end of this year. It was gonna be an EP. But Vanessa just keeps sending me demos and just keeps churning out new songs. So now I think it's going to be a full length. And we're really excited to get back and, and start playing live again. Wow. So that's one of the other things that's upcoming. But then after that, I thought I was I was looking at more traditional routes like uh, doctor, lawyer. <laughs> no. The, none of those stuck. You can't play drums when you're in a doctor. You're like, exactly. You take care of your hands, right? Exactly. Yeah. None <laughs> of those stuck. I, I, I guess I was destined to end up in the in the creative arts in, yes. in some fashion well, that's awesome well i can't wait to see your projects coming out and thank you so much for taking time here i know your first time at the la fit expo you haven't yeah. been so far i'm having a blast awesome well yeah. be sure you check out the legendary foods if you haven't had these tasty pastries oh i trust me you already had them. i got a full belly of the legendary fitness <laughs> tasty pastries <laughs> Okay, just as everyone should. I mean, it's the first booth you walk in. You have to enjoy them. And did you like Pop Tarts growing up? Oh man, I mean, yeah, I, I yeah. Unfortunately, who doesn't? Pop Tarts like were uh, were a staple of my right. breakfast when I was growing uh, up. I know, me too. My mom. Not popcorn. anymore though. I know, right? Only well, healthy food now. We got the exactly. Ones. Exactly. Awesome. Well, Ryan, thank you so much for joining here my on the pleasure. Monica Brand Show, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your time here at the LA Fit Expo, and. Uh, let keep letting Eric kick your butt because he's doing a great job for you and I know that's helpful when you're in the gym having someone else because you've got so much other stuff going on oh my gosh yeah you know you. yeah you make a great point it's when when I have so many things going through my head on a daily basis with just the, the different projects that I'm working on the different places where my mental energy needs to be it's really nice to walk in the gym and to not have to think right, and right. to be guided by somebody who, who is just an, an expert. I right. mean, a leading expert in his field, top celebrity trainer, right. and to be guided by him. And, and the only thing that I have to think about is the mind-body connection Absolutely. of what I'm doing right then and there. And, and that's, he's, so, he's so good with people and he loves people. It's really nice. Oh, he's he's an incredible guy and, and a total people. The, probably the most... 
people person of all people people I've ever met in my <laughs> life. Say that 20 times. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, well, I'm going to have to let you go because right. I know there's other things for you to go do besides sit here and talk to me, but I'm going to be following you on Instagram thank and you. watching all your stuff coming thank out. Thank you so, so much. Congratulations on everything. Thank you very and, much. And uh, thank you guys for tuning in here to the Monica Brand Show. Make sure you follow Ryan Carnes 1 over on Instagram and anywhere else. Yeah, that's that's, uh, that's, that's the main that's platform the main I'm on. Line. I'm on okay. Twitter. I don't really tweet very often. <laughs> okay. So, uh, you know, you can follow me if you want. You might not hear much from me. All right. Well, thank you guys for tuning in. Make sure you subscribe, like, ring that bell, and we'll see you on the next time here on the Monica Brand Show. Stay fit, live life. We'll see you next. Hi, I'm Ron with Legendary Foods. We're here at the LA Fit Expo today. We've got a pretty amazing booth, as you can see. Uh, we make the tasty pastry. It's got 20 grams of protein, 5 grams of net carbs. Uh, and it's for all the people out there that want to stay on their nutrition programs, but don't want to blow it and still want to be able to eat a tasty treat. You can check us out at eatlegendary.com or on Instagram at legendaryfoods.